Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I am going to be taking you on a quick walkthrough of these four take along journal kits. Um, we'll start with the kind of retro one. The piece that everything is in is holds the ephemera the journal and the pocket notebook. And then this is filled with ephemera. So I'll start by showing you this piece, the front and the back. The back has sewing, as you'll see. The last page has pieces of paper that are coordinated with the whole kit. The purpose of this is to decorate your journal. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so let's go through the ephemera pack first. The ribbon that's on it is not glued down, so you could undo it. And there are three eyelets and some extra thread there, apparently. Um, three eyelets that you can thread it through. If you don't like this color, you can always change it to something else. There are four pages in the ephemera book. The first and the second have these pockets filled with tags. This uh, this one has a bookmark. It says be silly, be honest, be brave. Each bookmark has a charm and some ribbon and a tag. And this one has an extra pocket with some extra pieces either for writing or to decorate your journal with. The second pocket also has a pocket on it, same thing, two pieces of ephemera or writing space and tags. This one has a brad with some kind of lace, looks like little pieces of pink, kind of raggy looking, like little strips of lace tied to it that's very soft. And it's on with a brad, so you could take it off and decorate your journal with this as well. And on the back of page two, I have strips of the paper that are, is used in the journal to also decorate with. And this piece has, this pocket has an open up tag and a tag with some circle cuts at the top. And... Also, I think I was putting the little notebook folder in there, which is tied with ribbon and also can be removed. It says, Believe in You. It has two pockets on the inside. And blue and orange paper. And a heart paper clip. It's kind of a 3D looking paper clip. The last page has two tucks with little tags. Again, this one has a brad with some yarn furry looking <laughs> color coordinated things to decorate your journal with. And the last page has pieces of the journaling paper. And there's the back. The journal for this one has ribbon tied on, some rickrack, some stamping. It says let your true color shine through. Some more stamping. These are die cuts. These are scrap pieces of the paper that's used inside. We got some sorry silk ribbon, some tags, and a journaling card, a tag and journaling card. More of the stuff that's wrapped around a brad, kind of eyelash trim. Really pretty bold washi tape in the center to give it some strength. And these are the pages of this journal. I believe each journal has 8 to 10 pages. I believe this one has 10. Just give you a quick look through of the paper. And it's, I think I used only one sided in each of these or try to so that there would be a lot of spaces to either write or decorate the way you want to and I clipped this piece on the back that I was going to glue it but I thought well maybe you would want to decorate somewhere else with it another paper clip 
and washi tape on the outside as well. My thinking of this is that this would be either a really cool gift for someone that likes to write or create or a beginner that doesn't know if they really like junk journaling. This is the perfect way to figure out if you do or just write down your thoughts or you have you can separate it and have three separate gifts. Someone that already journals has an ephemera pack and here's the junk journal for someone just starting and a notebook for someone to carry with them in their car or keep by the phone or however I guess people don't have house phones anymore probably do they so that is the first kit this is will probably be listed as the retro kit or if this was something that you were purchasing for yourself how easy it would be to grab this it's not very thick take it with you you have everything you need all the ephemera all the pieces to make ephemera just pack some glue and scissors and you're set this one is hopes and dreams it's kind of I'm thinking like a teenage girl would probably like we have same thing ribbon in the eyelets three different color eyelets on this one first page has the tags and different journaling cards the bookmark with the charm it's a little flower two tags with brads some die cuts little heart stamps at the bottom heart cutouts not stamps I don't guess this side also has the little cards I've made a tag this card journaling spot says dreaming is the beginning of getting what you want the next page is your cutouts your scraps for your junk journal this pocket has a journaling card, a little notepad made from the scraps of the junk journal, and some little writing spots, and a rainbow paper clip. The third page is a blank page just for writing or decorating. Fourth page has your sheets for decorating your journal same paper that is in your journal and the back of this one also has some pockets the journal on this one has a pocket on the front says I'm a dreamer cute little tag popped in there it is bound together with some twine and I've knotted on and this one is glued some fabric strips another little rainbow paper clip the inside pocket of this one has the journal. It says, live your dreams out loud. The papers in this one are all purple with little hearts. Cute little tag. Another little tag here. And this little bag has some, some of the leftover die cuts that came with the kit of this paper pack. And the papers in this one are all the green and orange. Oh, I guess not. There are some purple in the center. Actually, I think every third page is the purple. So you have the green, orange, and purple in this book. And there's the back. And I'll put that back. I kind of like to leave the little stringies hanging out the sides I think it looks neat then I have a winter one I have a tutorial that shows this one how I made this one so the outside is some die cuts lace got some little tickets tags in here more tickets tags the bookmark on this one has neat charms and I've got some doilies on the back with the little snow much fun and then the next page is of course your off cuts from your journal we have some journaling cards that have all been cut different shapes inked around the edges I have pink vintage and teal inking 
and the backs all have the snowflakes. This one has some stickers, pretty ribbon at the top. And this little paper clip is a boy and a girl sledding and a snowflake on the back. This pocket has some stickers, decoration on it. Third page is blank. The last page is your paper from your journal. The journal on this one has a pocket on the front with some flowers, glittery, has some teal glitter. It's a snow day. Here's the other paper clip. It's a little boy and a girl, snowflake. Has rose gold binding. And the papers on this one, in this one, are pink. Some of the teal snowflake. This is like a khaki. Some dyed paper with red dye. It's kind of a greenish teal. Scrap of paper. Teal. Scrap of paper. This is heavier cardstock. It's textured. It's very pretty. This is lighter scrap of paper, these colored ones, and some sparkly white. And then there is the back of your book. The pocket notebook on this one has some die cuts, a little bit of cheesecloth, ribbon on the, on the spine, couple of tags with the hard cuts at the bottom, white paper with pink edges, this one I tucked into that pocket and put it in here. The last one is a Christmas journal, it has some book page and a little die cut, Jesus is the reason one of the paper clips I wanted to tell you this it looks when you take it off like it's crooked but it's not I did this on purpose so that it would set the angle on the page and we'll have some edging I just put scrap of paper along the edge these are the pockets they're so pretty this Christmas I believe these papers are digitals from Kara Brandon last year she had a Christmas package and the tag on this one has some tinsel and a little tree cut out the bottom and then a journaling card we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year this one has a couple of word tags stuff and this is just a little pocket. I didn't put a pocket on this one because I thought the salmon was so pretty. I didn't want to cover him up. So I just put a small cut out here of a Santa Claus and put a little a couple of little words in there. This looks like music paper. Again, like I said, it's the digital from Kara Brandon. One tag in here with the brad. And this is some pipe cleaner top. The book mark on this one has a little snowman charm well this uh, actually it has a little snowman button and a jingle bell the off cuts from the journal some tags little I think this one opens with a little tree punch another little tree punch little card that says we wish you a Merry Christmas all of these and the Christmas one of course you could use for you know gift tags little pocket this one I took the cutouts from the front pockets and made a slide for this journaling card and in the back are the sheets from your journal there is a pocket on the back the pocket notebook in this one has ribbon. This is glued on so it can't be removed. A little bit of muslin that I've inked with red and green. A couple of die cuts, comfort and joy. Some pockets on the inside. A tag with the Christmas. Some little tree cutouts on some. And then where I cut the tree out, I glued it onto 
some of the white sheets, some of the other sheets I've glued it to. And then the journal on this one has really pretty, it's got a gold glitter in it. I don't know if you can see it, but it is really pretty. Some red string, a little truck paper clip. It says Merry Christmas gathered together. This package here is from a digital by, I believe it's Crafting with Donna. Oh, it is so pretty. The inside pocket and the journaling pages on this one. That's a digital, some tea dyed paper, music paper, lined digital, more tea dyed. music paper, and that's the center. And those are the four take-along journal kits that I have in my Etsy shop. I hope you like these. If you're interested in making them for yourself, I have a tutorial that shows how to make this one. I hope you like these. Give them a try to make them so much fun. They're in my Etsy shop. If you want to check that out, I've got the link for that below as well. Thanks for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.